In this class, we are going to learn how to create our very first Oracle Visual Builder application. In almost all our classes in this course, we are going to make use of Visual Builder which comes out of the box in our Oracle Integration 3 instance. Suppose if you are using the Oracle Visual Builder standalone instance, then using that also you can practice all our classes in this course. So let me just click on this navigation menu. If you have enabled Visual Builder in your integration instance, then you will see this option. If you have not enabled, then please enable the Visual Builder in your Oracle integration instance to see this Visual Builder option under the navigation. Click on this Visual Builder. Clicking on which, it will route you to the Visual Builder instance. Since we didn't create any application in this instance, our screen shows that Welcome to Visual Builder followed by the name and then you will have couple of options. Now what you have to do is, in order to create your very first application, you have to click on plus new application. Suppose if you are launching Oracle Visual Builder from your standalone instance from your OCI, then also you will land into the same screen, what we have landed from Oracle integration. So click on this plus new application. Here you have to provide the name. I will name this as first VB app. If you want to change the template, then you can click on this change template and select one of the templates. We will touch upon this topic later in this course. As of now, I am keeping empty application. Once you are done with providing the meaningful name and the application ID, you can click on finish. Just make sure application ID should be unique. So this you cannot assign to multiple applications the same name. But the application name you can provide to multiple applications same name. ID should be unique. Click on finish. So once you have created your first Visual Builder application, you will land into the screen something like this where you will have an option to create the apps, connect to the data, artifacts and the business objects. We will slowly learn what does this each mean. We are not going to click on this and jump into creating the applications. We will learn the topic step by step from the scratch and the basics. Here on the right side, you will see some useful tips from the Oracle. Clicking on this, it will help you navigating your Visual Builder application. You can click on this and have a look on the documentation. I will show you how the documentation will look like. Uh, click on the link, it will open the docs.oracle.com. So in our subsequent classes, we will discuss the same that is how to navigate in your Visual Builder application. So nothing to worry about. Suppose if you want to understand how to build Visual Builder applications step by step, that is by understanding the building blocks of the application, then you can have a look at this link. How to use the artifact editor that is the designer view for each and everything on this visual builder then you can have a look at this how to use the designer or the artifact editors. How to manage your visual application like how to create, how to version, how to publish, how to stage so and so forth things you can have a look at this link managing your visual builder. So all those topics we are going to learn practically in our subsequent classes. Suppose if you want to integrate with your Oracle process automation or any other thing, then you can have a look at this link that is how to integrate with the processes. There are discussion forums available on the web on which you can post your query. Suppose if you are stuck in something or you are unable to achieve the business requirement or the customer need, then you can post your query over here. So a lot of people will be asking the queries over here. So you also can do the same if you are stuck anywhere. Also, you can talk to us or write to us so that we can also look at your query and help you. Also, there is the product tour video. You can have a look at this documentation. Clicking on this will launch the docs.oracle.com link. That is the same thing over here, wherein most of the concepts are covered by Oracle, like what and all components are being used in this visual builder. So you can have a look at that as well. Suppose if you want to have a look at the sample applications developed by the community, you can have a look at this, that Oracle samples, VBCS samples, using which we can sharpen your Visual Builder skill. There is a dedicated blog wherein the developer community will be posting their findings or the use cases which you can have a look at this. Suppose if you get some business requirement which is matching with the blog, then you can look at the blog and solve your problems. There is a dedicated YouTube channel over here on the YouTube, we can have a look at this and learn the concept of Visual Builder. So whenever a new concept of the component is introduced by Oracle, then that topic will be covered in this Visual Builder YouTube channel. So you can have a look at this as well. Now this is the first glimpse what you get when you create any Visual Builder application. Coming to the designer options what we get, we will have a look on this in our next class.